Welcome to the Screencast for Wii video, where I'm going to show you how you can add pictures into your podcast that you've been creating. So there's multiple ways to add pictures. When you're looking at your project, the pictures are ultimately going to go on this video track here. So what happens is you bring in some pictures into your Wii video project, and then you lay the pictures on the track, and then you can stretch them so that they take up the video track. So those pictures will display while certain pieces of your podcast are playing. So I want to show you some ways to do that and then show you how this works. So one way to get pictures into Wii Video is if you take pictures from your phone. So maybe you're using your phone, you grab a picture of the subject you're interviewing. Best way to get this into your project on a Chromebook is to put the Google Drive app on your phone. It's a free app. Sign in with your school credentials. And then you'll get a screen that looks somewhat like this, where you can typically hit the plus button, typically find a way to upload the picture. You can pick it from your camera roll or your gallery and send that into your Google account. If it's in the Google account, I'll show you in a little bit how you can bring that in. Another way to get pictures is pictures from the internet. So if you do a search, you go to Google, you do a search. I chose sunset here just as an example. When you do a search, uh, click on images. This shows you different images related to that topic. And then a good idea to not break copyright rules is when you see all those images come up, click on tools and all these tools will show up that can help you fine tune your search. You want to click on labeled for reuse or uh, whatever this choice is here. I think uh, it has, says like license or something like that. And you want to choose labeled for reuse. When you choose that, the pictures that appear mean that those are pictures that can be reused by other people. You find a picture, you click on it, you want to not save these small versions of the picture. You want to click on the picture, so it shows up big here, and then you can right click on the picture in here, or two finger tap rather, if you're on your Chromebook. If you two finger tap, you can choose to save the image. That will save to your downloads folder of your Chromebook. You still should cite where you got the picture from. So check with your teacher on how they want you to cite your sources. Uh, you can then click through and, and visit the website and get the URL for where this picture is coming from. That's just good citation and good uh, being part of a good digital citizen if you choose to use pictures that you find from the internet. And another way is maybe you want to create your own title slides. You've been watching these videos that show you how to make a podcast. You can do that very easily if you create a Google Slides presentation. Uh, so here you can add some word art or some pictures. Uh, you can make your title slide the way you want. Um, I would recommend using word art that's available under the tools menu and you can lay out the words you want. You can then save this slide uh, out as, a, as an image. So you can go to file, download as, JPEG and that will save to probably your downloads folder on your Chromebook. Uh, so if you save that as an image you can then bring that into your podcast as well. So maybe you make a nice title slide that says what your show is about or your episode is about uh, or you know question one slide or a question two slide. You can you you have some creative options here for that. So let's look at what this looks like now in Wii Video. Bounce over there. So here I've got my project all laid out. I've got some music, some stingers, things I've been building. I want to get some pictures here. How I do that is I have to bring the media in. This is my upload button or import button. So I click on, oh, click on the wrong one there. I click on that. I get a window that looks like this. If I want to pick from the downloads folder, I can click on this browse to select. This will open a window that shows me whatever computer I'm working on. Again, if you're on a Chromebook, you do have a downloads area. So if you saved something from the internet, you can click on downloads and find the picture there to bring in. That's one option. What's great is if you did save some things to your Google Drive, right here it says import from social sites. This is the Google Drive icon. I can click on that. Now when you click on it, it's going to ask for permission. I have already done that as this account. It's going to ask for you to pick your Google account. So you want to make sure that you give permission for that. And then now I'm in my Google Drive. So if I did save things here from my phone or from other sources, um, I, it, it's a good idea maybe put those things in a folder. I made a folder that was just called Picks for Wii Video. So I knew where to go to find those things. Let me go in there. Here are some pictures. So in my podcast, we're going to say that I interviewed Mr. Huber. I am holding the shift button and clicking on those, or I can drag a box by clicking in the blank area and drag over them. They all turn blue. I can select and bring those in. That will come into the My Media folder. So here's the three pictures all coming in. And then putting these into your projects 
is pretty easy. Once they have imported themselves into WeVideo, you can click on them and drag and drop and lay them right here on the video track. So first is my title slide. You can click on them to preview them over here. And again, you can trim these or drag them out if I click and drag on the side. So this is my interview title slide. So I want that to go the length of my music playing as well as my introduction to the interview. And it'll, it'll stop right there. Now as I get into my first question, if I'm interviewing Mr. Huber, we'll put a picture there maybe of me and Mr. Huber for the first question. Here's the stinger, and then I have the sunset picture just as an example. This is probably not a good picture that I would use, but we'll, whoops, we'll place that there. And then we'll stretch that for the length of question two. So these are the visuals that will appear while the audio is going on. So you want the, the picture to tie to the audio. Maybe the person is talking about their background or talking about something they do for their line of work or some place they came from. You want to have some visuals that go along with that. So that is how you can add pictures into your podcast. Thanks for watching.